Bass has changed the Opens and now the EQ series. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is unbelievable. I'm so appreciative of you watching the channel, commenting, being a member, subscribing, all of that stuff. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click that button. It's quick and easy. It's free and you should be part of the team. Yesterday, Bass came out with a new way of how they're going to fish the Opens and now the EQ series. So years ago, Bass had the Open divisions. There were three divisions and the top three anglers from those divisions in Angler of the Year points qualified for the elites. Then a couple years ago, literally just two years ago, they changed that format so that it was nine events. You had to fish all nine events and the top nine anglers in Angler of the Year points qualified for the Bassmaster Elite Series. That's happening right now, actually. Next year, they will change in 2025. They will have two divisions and they'll have four events per division. And those are called the Opens. Now, they'll take the top 50 anglers from both divisions, so 100 anglers, will then qualify for the EQ series. In the EQ series, you will fish three events and the top 10 anglers from those events move into the leads. Also, if you win any of the events in the Opens or the EQs, you get an automatic bid to the Classic, which is fantastic. Here's where it gets a little confusing. When they get to the EQ series, any elite angler that wants to try to requalify or automatic or try to get one of those three bids to a classic can jump down to the EQ series without qualifying and try to either requalify for the elites or qualify for the Bassmaster Classic. So we'll see several elite anglers who will not be qualifying for the next year's events probably drop down hoping to save their career and qualify for the next year through the EQ series. And my question here is, why? I really like the format that they have right now, though I think it's a little hard for an angler in the, in, in the uh, Opens, in the EQ series. I think that it costs a lot of money to be in there. I think that the travel time and everything else can really hurt an angler at a young stage, unless they are really financially secure or they're backed. Because at the Opens and EQ stage, there's a lot of times that most anglers are not at that top level sponsorship yet. And I believe, I do think that any elite anglers that isn't going to qualify should have to go through the gamut of what all the other anglers are having to do to requalify. I kind of feel like this is allowing some elite anglers the possibility of an easier way to get back to the elites. And I'm not sure that really helps because I want to see a fresh crop of anglers come in year after year. I want to see a new breed of anglers. I don't want to see people that are just have their hands out and are accepting free invitation because they can't make it on the elites. I think the elites is the elite for a reason. But again, after in that EQ series, the top 10 anglers and angler of the year points will automatically get their bid to fish the elites in that next year. We'll have more elite, we'll have more classic bids because there'll be 11 instead of nine. So they get a couple more classic people enjoying the classic or participating in the classic. They will have, uh, they'll have the rules for the elite series will mirror what's going on on the EQ series. So that really gets them able to understand and feel what's going on for the next year for the elite series series. And there'll be co-anglers in the opens, but not the EQ series. Now, entry for the Opens will be $2,000 per angler. It'll be $475 for the co-anglers. When they get to the EQ series, those last three events, it will be $3,500 per angler. Now, this allows Basta to generate a little bit more money, which is all right. Um, it's, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see how the payout is different from the Opens versus the EQ since it's $1,500 more. And the best thing about this is that these events will be held in the fall. The EQ series will be fall fishermen. So if you're a great fall fisherman, this is a great opportunity for you. But this is when mostly, the fall is when we mostly don't have any fishing at all. 
We have some that goes on, but this will allow anglers and fans to have to enjoy fishing a little bit more during that time when we don't usually have it. Now for me, while I thought that what was happening right now in the Open and the EQ Series here in 2024 was the right decision and it made sense, this will allow anglers to save a little bit of money because you'll go from, actually you won't, you'll actually be paying more money because you're going to have four events at $2,000 and then three events at $10,500. So you'll be spending more money to qualify for the elites than ever. So do you like these new rules? Do you think this helps anglers or hurts anglers? Does this help the elite anglers who aren't going to requalify or does it hurt those guys? Do you like that there'll be more classic anglers at the classic that get that automatic bid? You tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on if the voice is deeper. I'm tired. We have the storm coming in, and it's way too early in the morning to do this. I really appreciate you guys. Tight lines and cheers.